So the All Blacks XB squad for 2024 has recently been announced. Clayton McMillan, the head coach, and he has selected a very good pool of players here for their two matches up against Munster. And then they do play the Georgians. And in this video, I'm going to be giving my All Blacks XV XV. My starting 15 that I would like to see for this All Blacks XV side. And a side that I think would work extremely well, perhaps as their strongest team, that they can put onto the park. But looking at the front row, number one, Xavier Numia, number two, Kurt Eklund, number three, Marcel Renaton. Now, I will mention straight off the bat, number two, I would have had Ricky Riccatelli had he been in this All Blacks XV side, but did miss out for not just the XV, but also for the All Blacks squad as well. Xavier Numia, I think that he's slowly building into his form that he had for Super Rugby Pacific. He was injured for a pretty long time, so it is understandable that it would take a bit longer to find that rhythm once more. Eklund, he's been solid throughout the Bunnings NBC and Marcel Renata backing up a strong Super Rugby with what he's done recently as well. Moving on to the locking jaw. Number four, Natoa Akoi. He has won 59 lineouts throughout the Bunnings NBC competition for Bay of Plenty, the leader out of anyone for lineouts one. Plus, when you look through at this All Blacks XV side, he is the only guy who you could argue is a legitimate number four. The other three that they've got, Josh Lord, Fabian Holland, and Isaiah Walker, Leo Witte, all play a lot more of five rather than that four jersey. So it made it pretty easy to select Natoa Koi as the number four. Then number five, I've gone with Fabian Holland. Now, all three men would do extremely well in that five jersey, but Fabian Holland... At the moment, he is the player that a lot of people are talking about to be that future star for the All Blacks in that locking duo. A lot of pressure already being put on him, but what we've seen from him throughout the Highlander season, I think that he's got a lot of potential. So perhaps a couple big games here for the ABZXV could find him eventually moving into the All Blacks side as well. But now moving on to the loose four trio, number six. I've gone with Christian Leo Willey. Now, he does play quite a few different positions. Christian Leo Willey, we've seen him playing eight. We've seen him in that six jersey. For the All Blacks XV, I've decided to play him as a six, seeing as they have got some pretty decent options in their number eight jersey. I could also go with Ollie Haig in that six jersey, but I've gone with Christian Leo Willey, a busy man throughout the Bunnings NBC, 112 carries already registered for that man. But when we talk about carries, the man in the number seven jersey He's had a ton of them, and that is Peter Lakai. 138 carries, 144 tackles made. This guy is a future All Black. I just don't know when he's going to get that chance, but when he does, I really hope he makes the most of it because he's had a phenomenal Bunnings NBC. He's had a really strong Super Rugby Pacific. He was good for the New Zealand under-20s. He's still young. He's still got plenty of time to earn that spot, and I don't think it will be a mile away. Definitely with the retirement, of Sam Kane from international rugby coming at the end of this year. Question is, will Peter Lakai be that next? All Blacks number seven, number eight. This is where I've gone with Hoskins Satutu. Now, Duplessy Karefi is a man who I haven't mentioned so far, and he honestly could go in a couple of these positions, but I've decided that these three that I've selected, I would start, and I would have Duplessy Karefi as the loose forward off the bench, as I feel later on in a game, he would bring a really big amount of impact. So that is why I've gone with the selections that I did. But Hoskins Satutu, he wants to earn his way back to the All Blacks as well. He had a really strong Super Rugby Pacific, 12 tries to his name, a lot of offloads. So that would be something that maybe the All Blacks XV can use to their advantage. But moving on to the back line, number nine, I've gone Finley Christie and number 10, Harry Plummer. I went with the Blues combination for that 9-10 channel. Noah Hotham, the only other option that they've got when it comes to the halfbacks. Now, Christie's been playing pretty well for the Tasman Marcos throughout the Bunnings NBC, and his work in terms of getting into the breakdown and getting steals is something that I feel gave him that little bit of an edge over Hotham. Hotham has a lot of potential for the future as well, but I just see them going with a bit more experience for that 19, which is also why I didn't select Josh Jacob, even though he's been looking very strong throughout the provincial season as well moving on to the centers number 12 i've gone quintupire at number 13 amoni narawa now i normally like to see amoni narawa out on the wing but throughout the bunnings nbc playing 13 he's found quite a bit of success 14 clean breaks 43 defenders beaten 
and 679 meters carried so far in the season. He was unlucky not to get reselected for the All Blacks in the Rugby Championship, although he was a part of the squad when it was initially announced. He unfortunately was the player who ended up missing out, but the good news is he's continued his form. From Super Rugby, he hasn't taken being dropped from the squad to heart. He's just continued to evolve his game and now offering the number 13 jersey as well could be extremely handy. For the All Blacks, number 12, Quintupaya. Now, when you look through at the midfielders that they've got, Riley Higgins, AJ Lamb, and Dallas McLeod, all three of them have been in some really, really strong form. And if you're basing it off form, you'd almost argue you could go with Riley Higgins in their number 12 jersey. Or perhaps you go with Dallas McLeod, who scored seven tries throughout the Bunnings NBC. Quintupaya, he has been mixing and matching a little bit in terms of the positions he's been playing. But one thing's for sure, he can still do really well at inside centre. And I believe that that would be his best chance of getting back into the All Black squad. Definitely with the injury of Geordie Barrett and the lack of form from David Harvilli. So that is the midfield. Now we've got the back three. Number 11, Kenny Naholo. Seven tries throughout the Bunnings NBC. 45 defenders beaten and 656 meters carried he's a beast of an individual he almost hurt his knee in the most recent game for Taranaki but luckily was all right because that man when he starts pumping his legs he's incredibly hard to drag down so I would love to see him in the starting lineup for the All Blacks XB number 14 this is where I've gone with Che Fiaki now Amoni Narua would be a very strong option for 14 and maybe that is where they do see him but with me putting him at 13 it meant I needed someone else out on that right wing, so I went with Che Fiaki, and then number 15, this is where I've got Sean Stevenson. Now him and Fiaki can both play number 15, but Sean Stevenson throughout the Bunnings NBC for North Harbour, I think has had the strongest season from that fullback role, 35 defenders beaten, 751 metres carried, so he would fit into this All Blacks XV that I've selected quite nicely. Indeed, Che Fiaki, he offers that long kick, off the tee, so I will mention Harry Plummer would be my goal kicker for this lineup. The captaincy is a little bit more tricky. I honestly don't know who I would give it to. I'm not even sure who the All Blacks XV have ended up selecting. If you guys know, of course, do let me know. But nonetheless, that is my All Blacks starting 15 that I'd like to see in either the first or the second match up against Munster as well as Georgia. But do let me know who you would like to see in your starting lineup. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Of course, we are going to be covering the All Blacks XV matches on the channel with the lineups being announced as well as the live commentary on the channel as well. But thank you all very much for tuning in and I will see you all for the next one.